On today's show, Honda says we don't need no stinking rare earth metals. When used car mileage comes down, prices go up. And Mazda and Isuzu announce plans to collaborate on a new pickup truck. All that and more coming right up on AutoLine Daily. This is AutoLine Daily for July 12th of 2016. Several years ago, China began limiting shipments of rare earth metals, which are used in lithium ion batteries for hybrids and EVs. Well, that was a big problem because the country accounts for over 80% of global production. In response to this, a number of companies started looking for alternatives, and now Honda says it's developed the first hybrid motor magnet without heavy rare earth metals. The neodymium magnet was developed in conjunction with Dido Steel and will be used in the new Freed model, a small minivan based on the Fit platform that's sold in Asia. Not only is it free from rare earth metals, the magnet is around 8% lighter and costs 10% less to produce. Every month we keep you up to date on the latest sales of new cars, but guess what? Sales of used cars are going up and so are their prices. The latest report from Mannheim, the giant auction house, says that used car sales in the American market are up 4% so far this year. That compares to an increase of only 1.3% for new cars. Maybe more people are buying used because the average used car at auction now only has 38,500 miles on the odometer. That's nothing these days. And just last year, the average was 51,200 miles. Mannheim also reports that used car prices have been going up for three straight months and are the highest they've been in four years. Even so, it says the long-term trend is for those prices to go down. Small SUVs perform poorly in the IIHS's new headlight test, and Mazda announces it will build a new pickup truck with the Suzu. That's coming up next. Auto Line Daily is brought to you by Bridgestone Tires. Your journey, our passion. Dow Automotive Systems, advanced materials that deliver better results. And by Lear, a global leader in automotive seating and electrical systems. Back in March, the IIHS tested headlights in mid-sized cars, and we learned that some of these newfangled lamps aren't all that they're cracked up to be. Now they've tested small SUVs, and the results are even worse. If you don't remember, this is the test where they use a special device to measure light from both the low and high beams as the vehicle travels in a straight line through a sharp left and right turn and a gradual left and right turn. Of the 21 small SUVs tested, there were 47 different headlight combinations and only four vehicles received an acceptable rating. 2017 Ford Escape, Honda CRV, Hyundai Tucson, and Mazda CX-3, while two thirds of the list got poor ratings. Next, the Institute plans on testing pickup trucks. So let's see, we'd say in the next five months or so, you can probably expect to see a similar story. Mazda sells a rebadged version of the global Ford Ranger, but Ford will start producing a new Ranger in Michigan in 2018. Because of this, Mazda announced it will collaborate with Isuzu on a new pickup. Isuzu will produce the trucks for Mazda, which will be based on an Isuzu truck platform and sold globally, but not here in North America. And in other truck news, Ford is providing more information about its all-new, second-generation, 3.5-liter EcoBoost V6 that's going into the 2017 F-150. Horsepower has jumped up by 10 to 375 horsepower, and torque is up to an impressive 470 pound-feet, which is 50 more than the previous generation. The all-new engine will also be paired to the recently announced 10-speed automatic transmission, so we expect to see a boost in performance and efficiency. 2017 F-150 goes on sale this fall. Coming up next, Renault takes the wraps off the all-new sedan version of the Megane. At Bridgestone, our engineers want to help make sure you're not stuck on the side of the road. Our revolutionary drive guard tires are engineered to take a puncture and drive up to 50 miles. Ready to go. Watch the Olympic Archer demo at BridgestoneTire.com. There's more car news and industry insight from the AutoLine Network every day. 
take a moment to click that subscribe button. You'll never miss another AutoLine episode. Back in 2011, General Motors and NASA developed a robot called Robonaut, or R2 for short, that was launched into space to help astronauts perform ergonomically difficult tasks. And now the automaker, along with Swedish company BioServo, are set to introduce robotic glove technology created from that project. Called the RoboGlove, it uses sensors, actuators, and tendons that mimic the nerves, muscles, and tendons in a human hand. BioServo plans to sell the glove for medical purposes, while GM intends to test it in plants to help workers during production. Last year, Renault revealed the new hatch version of the Megane. Early this year, it introduced the wagon, and now it's taken the wraps off the sedan. It features the company's signature C-shaped headlights and is offered with a number of safety and driver assistance aids. It's available with two gasoline and three diesel engines, and depending on the setup, it can be mated to a 5-speed manual, 6-speed manual, 6-speed dual clutch, 7-speed DCT, or a CVT. The Megan sedan will be built in Turkey and sold in 20 countries around the world, mostly in Eastern Europe and the Middle East. But that brings us to the end of today's AutoLine Daily. Thank you for watching, and join us again tomorrow for the latest news in the global automotive industry.